Alright boys and girls, welcome to another episode of the DJ Chronicles with your boy, DJ Jimmy Hustle. And man oh man, it has been a very long week from me going to work, coming home, working with my son and putting him to bed and then working on music all week. It's been long man. On top of that, um, my wife went to a church event last night and it was a slumber party for all the women in our church. So she has been there all night, and I was home alone with my son. And we, me and my son was both sad because my wife wasn't home. And we didn't know what to do with ourselves. <laughs> Don't show him that. Other than that, um, he went to bed after that, and um, he woke me up early this morning because he was hungry. So I got up, cooked him some food, and now he's in there watching TV. And now I'm in here getting my stuff together for today. This event today um, is one of those events that I feel that it will take me to the next level in my DJ career. Um, I've been DJing for about 15 years, um, and I've had events that would you know, take me to the next level. And I feel that this event is one of those events because I am DJing for the Jacksonville Jaguars Community Gala tonight. It is at the Prime Osborne Center downtown. I'm screaming like a little girl inside because anybody who's anybody will be in the building. On top of that, all of the former Jaguars as well as the current Jaguars will be in the building as well. And on top of that, if it can't get any better, it's going to get better because 95 South Quad City DJ 69 boys will be in the building for this 90s themed party. I am so excited, man, because I get to hear all the jams live and in person. All the songs I used to listen to growing up, you know, playing in my mama's car with all the bass turned up, about to blow her speakers out in her Honda Accord. I still remember that. <laughs> playing, them, playing them tapes, man. Man, that's going to be sweet, man. So, I'm really excited for, to see that. And on top of that, man, I get to DJ. I'm only DJing for an hour for the uh, red carpet arrivals. So they're gonna walk the red carpet and I'm gonna be out there DJing while they do it. And I only gotta do that for an hour and they said I can stay and enjoy the event. So, you can't beat that. Um, the only uh, thing I don't like is I gotta dress up in a suit cause I'm not really a suit guy. Um, I think the last time I wore a suit was at a funeral, and the time before that, I became a deacon. Yeah. Um, no, I went to a wedding. Yeah, I wore a suit for that, too. Um, that was three times in, like, the past <laughs> about six years, bro. <laughs> Dang, man. Yeah. So, I don't really wear suits like that. So, um, I got to wear a suit tonight. Um, and the other thing is, I've been working out, um... Like, like a crazy man. So I didn't gain all this muscle, which is good. I like it. Other than, but the bad part is, I don't know if my suit gonna fit. So y'all pray for me with that, you know, cause I don't wanna wear it it's looking all snug. But um, it shouldn't. I pray to God it doesn't. Cause that's what I gotta wear tonight. I have no choice. Um, so that's the only thing, man. But I do want to talk to you guys about um, like building relationships, man, with different people. It is very important. It is very important to network if you are in a business or an entrepreneur. I did not recognize that until like a, the past year or so. Um, reason is because that is how I got this event. Um, I have a very good friend of mine. Um, I'm going to call him Tech Support. <laughs> Um, shout out to Tech Support, man, for um, hooking me up, man. Um, he is definitely one of my good friends. Um, I've known her for I've, I've known him for a while, but um, you know we've been going back and forth, man. We don't talk a lot all the time, but when we do talk, we do talk. You know, one of them friends, and I, I love having friends like that, especially with my crazy lifestyle that I have. Um, but yeah, man. Um, he works for he works for one of the companies that's gonna be out there tonight, and he put my name in the hat for um, one of the DJs to uh, do the event, 
And he told me that he was going to do it. And I was like, okay, you know, thank you. You know, I appreciate you, bro. You know, you know, much love and stuff like that. And I just left it alone. So I'm like, they ain't going to pick me. You know, they don't even know me. They ain't going to pick me. So I, you know, I love it to death. A couple weeks later, after he told me that, he, he, you know, he hits me back up. He says, yo, you were chosen. And I'm like, excuse me? Chosen for what? He's like, you chosen for the Jaguars and then. I'm like, no, I'm not. He's like, yes, you are. And he showed me the video. And, man, I just started screaming like a little girl, man. I, I was like, you got to be kidding me, man. Like, this is really going to happen. This is really going to happen. So, yeah, man. So, shout out to him, man. Because without him, I wouldn't even be doing this gig. So, that's what they say, man. Like, your next level is through a relationship. That is true. You got, man, that is true. Your next level is through relationships. So, if you are an entrepreneur, please keep people around you that, will build you up and take you to the next level, man. If they're tearing you down, you need to let them go, man, because you don't need that negativity, man. But if they're building you up and if they support you for real, man, keep them people around, show them love, man, and elevate them too, for real. So, shout out to Tech Support. And um, we're going to make this thing do what it do, man. It's going to be a very good night. Um, like I said, I'm in here. Setting up everything, getting everything ready to go. I got to touch my computer out, make sure it works. And make sure everything is set up the way I want it. And then we're going to load up the van. And then I'm going to get suited up and all that good stuff. But right now, I'm going to pack everything up, put it in the garage, and we're going to get the stand rolling. All right? Yo. Shark. <laughs> now you don't watch TV all day? Are you gonna watch TV all day? Yeah. Why? Do something with your life. It's Do something. Do something with your life. This is what I you don't have to watch TV all day. All right, y'all. Got the van loaded up. We are rocking and rolling, as you can see behind me. Um, I did stop by Chick Fil A and uh, got me a spicy chicken deluxe with a medium order of fries. Um, my wife got some macaroni and cheese. And it smelled so good. I wanted to get a spoonful of it, but she just looked at me like, bruh. So, I, you know, I just said, never mind. Keep a little macaroni and cheese. Um, so I ate. So I'm good on that. My tank is nice and full. Um, the van is loaded up. Um, now I just need to go inside and get dressed. It is 3.56. I need to be there around 5.30. So I am good on time. And I probably would be there a little bit earlier than that so I can know where I'm going and also unload the van because it may be a little walk from the van to the parking area. So you definitely need time for that. So we are good to go, man. I got everything moving in the right direction. Um, other than that, man, I am excited. I'm about to drape me a Red Bull. So I'm about to be lit. And we're going to make this thing happen and make it do what it do, man. My boy been calling me and telling me he's excited and what everything is going on down there already. So I'm just ready to go, man. I'm ready to go and have some fun. So I uh, hope you guys are ready too. So uh, buckle up your seatbelts, man. Let's go. y'all we are rocking and rolling i got everything in the van i am suited up looking nice um good news my suit jacket is not tight so i would not be looking like tight man um i haven't worn this suit in a while so i was kind of scared with me lifting weights and stuff i didn't know what this thing was gonna look like but uh we are rolling man rolling good um i don't have to be there till 5 45 and it just turned five o'clock so i am well within the window and um, yeah, I'm going to concentrate on this road because I am on University Boulevard and for some reason people cannot drive on University Boulevard. Every time I get on this road, it's always an issue, but um, we're going to focus on this road, man. And next time you see me, I will be downtown at the Prime Osborne Center. See y'all later.
from right here in Jacksonville. You're gonna recognize a lot of their songs. Are you ready? This is made up of three groups and they're performing together, which is rare. They're Grammy Award winning. Ladies and gentlemen, 95 South, 69 Boys, and Quad City. It was a very good night. Um, I did my thing on the red carpet. Um, everybody said I did a good job, including the guy that was over the whole production. He said I did a very good job from just the sound volume to the music I selected to everything, man. He said I did a very good job. 
Um, also, um, the Channel 4 newscast was out there. Um, I got kind of excited because I watch Channel 4 all the time. And um, they become family in my house, man, because we, that's all we watch, it's Channel 4. So to see them live and in person, that was pretty cool. Um, also, um, Joy Pretty walked up to me and she shook my hand, she asked my name, and then she asked me to turn the music down. But that's okay, you know, she shook my hand, you know, so uh, I almost lost it with that. I'm like, you can have anything you want. <laughs> um, other than that, man. Um, I had a good time, man. Um, just playing music and watching people enjoy it. It was very good. Um, after that, I packed up everything, put everything in the van, went back inside, enjoyed the festivities. Um, they had a band. Um, they did their thing. They had a silent DJ. He was playing music that you could only hear in the headphones. Um, he did a good job as well. I was jamming out to that. And then they had a DJ outside on the main stage. He was doing good things. So um, it was just party, just riding out everywhere. So it was very good. Um, the food was okay, you know. I enjoyed the food a little bit. But then after I said the food was okay, it took a turn for the better. Um, I put my head down. And I was like, dang, they ain't got no good food, you know. And then I look up. And then there was a waitress, I kid you not, there was a waitress in front of me. She had a platter of Chick-fil-A sandwiches. I kid you not, look at the picture, look at the picture. It was a platter of Chick-fil-A sandwiches and she gave me one and I almost lost it because I am in this building and how did you get Chick-fil-A sandwiches, okay? How is that possible? And I just had Chick-fil-A this, this early, this afternoon. I'm like, how is that possible? I almost flipped out. And I grabbed one and a tear almost dropped out my eye. And I just like, thank you. And she saw the big smile on my face and she almost laughed. I'm like, hey, I love Chick-fil-A, okay? Like, how do you have Chick-fil-A sandwiches just sitting on the platter? Like, you got like 20 of them just sitting right there. That's ridiculous. Like, how much did that cost? How much did that cost, okay? <laughs> I almost flipped out, man. So I'm sitting there eating my Chick-fil-A sandwich. And then you got the dang on Quad City DJs, 95 South and 69 Boys just riding out on the stage. And I'm like, am I in heaven? Like, what is going on here? <laughs> this was crazy, man. Like, man. Oh, man. And you just hearing all that music and the bass just pounding in your chest like it used to do back in the 90s. When I was playing um, their music back in my mom's Honda Accord, just riding out, man, playing their tapes. And they're playing live right in front of me with a Chick-fil-A sandwich. Think about it. That's crazy. <laughs> man, that was a good night, man. So, wow. So that was all worth it, man. I just had a very good time, man. I'm like, yeah, man. I'm just speechless, man. So... I do want to say just a special shout out to my homeboy, Tech Support. He know who he is. Shout out to you, bro, for just always looking out for me, man. I had a very good night tonight. I just enjoyed myself to the fullest, for real, man. And to all my friends that I saw out there um, at the party, man, I hope y'all had a good time. I hope y'all had as much fun as I did, because I definitely had fun. And, um, yeah, man, I'm just on the bigger and better, man. And just shout out to God for always looking out for me. So, um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to uh, put all my stuff in the house. And um, I'm about to go to bed and uh, get ready for a Sunday morning. Get ready for church. And hear this good word. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the DJ Chronicles, man. And I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.